Hi everyone, it's uh, Chris Dobbin from Rob, uh, and today I'm here to talk about creating good habits for achieving your goals. And I've got a special guest, Anna Petrarca, who's going to sit with me from Aligning Minds, and um, she's going to talk through some of these things, because what I've learned even from just a brief chat with Anna before we went live was that uh, there's a lot more to creating good habits, and it's not just about the habits. So I'll bring Anna in and uh, say hi. Hey Anna, how are you doing? Hi, how are you, Chris? Very well, thanks. There you are. Now, um, I guess you've uh, sort of highlighted to me that um, even though we're calling this creating good habits, there's a little bit more to it. So um, do you want to maybe talk through those steps to getting actually to creating a, a good habit and, and what's required to get there? And uh, I guess we'll, we'll see where we go. Yeah, cool. cool. So we are um, in February. So if yeah. you step back in January, I'm sure before you've been met together last week, some people would have done years resolutions. And as we know, a lot of those don't work. Um, the good thing is that people have you know, thought about something and put it out to the universe. But unfortunately, yep. there's no commitment. It's, I should do this, so therefore they quickly make something up. There's no meaning. Um, there's no follow through. Yep. So, um, we moved forward to last week in our meeting. Um, we got people together to write down some goals. So that really is the first step. The first step is to, I mean, it's good to think about it, but to write the goals down. So you write your yep. goals down and write down your dream. Now, the purpose of writing them down, so if we take a step back, when we think about our goals, that's a great thing. That's operating our right hemisphere, so where we have been at the centre. When we yep. write them down, it's the logical um, left, left hemisphere. So what we're doing is we need to both. So we start talking, our brains, they start talking, and then our subconscious mind says, okay, hey, this is real, you actually mean something, you really um, are committed to this. Right, so you're you're getting things out of, out of your head, actually, to, to sort of receive them again. Good. Thinking first, great, but writing them down puts it out and it gives you an op a chance to actually achieve them. It's the first step. There's a bit of an opportunity, yep, this, this is possible. And yep. then start going, okay, the opportunity starts to show up. Right. But if you also tell a friend, that ups the ante as well, because then you are having accountability. If someone knows about it, it's not the best kept secret. And as we know, right, yeah. Never happens, you know, yeah. The secret, it's got something in it, but it's not the all. Yeah, so when I was in, when I ran the session uh, in the, the Melbourne version of this, that's why I was saying to everyone that there's a private and a public version of this, because I'd like the private one to be something that they may work with someone like yourself on, but a public one was to get you to be accountable to the group and, you know, obviously look for people in the group who could maybe help you. Because what I find sometimes too is, if, like you said earlier, when you actually say something out loud to people, they listen and then they kind of themselves make you accountable because they're like going, oh, when are you going to do that? Uh, will you do that? Or how can I help you do that? You know? So um, sometimes that's the very reason why people don't share it. Because it's like, oh my gosh, I'm really going to have to step up. Yep. So a bit of fear at play, excitement and fear as they work together. So yep. that, yeah. Um, Fair enough. That. Yeah. So, so that was step one was writing it down, getting out of your head. Write down your goals. So yep. you could bring it together. So do the thinking, do the writing. They can't work together. And then, right. of course, share it with a friend. So you've got a few things within that first step. Okay. And the step two is read them daily because by reading them, you are – actually feeling them, spend some time, you know, every day, whether it's if you put classroom on your computer, that's fine. If you want to just um, have it written down, mm -hmm. that's great. Where you have written down, read them daily. Have a space that you can stop, read them, and really start to feel it. So see it as already happened. So if you think, I always talk about Dr. Joe Dispenza, and he goes into, yep. if, we're going to, if you want to be wealthy, that's one of your goals. You, you want to be yep. you know, wealthy, you've got to step into being wealthy. So you've got to be it. Yep. We've always been um, used to thinking that we've got to see it to believe it. In some cases, see it to believe it needs to be the other way around. We need to believe right. it to right. and we'll see it. So that's another step. So, you know, it's the visualising, it's all that sort of thing. Feel it, visualise it, hear the things that are going on. And then yeah. the brain starts working for you. The unconscious mind begins to believe it. 
I, look, I've, I've had that happen this year. There were certain things I was planning on doing this year and we're only in the middle of February and I've already had about eight people walk into my life for that thing I visualised and wanted to do have come to me. Yeah. Yeah. So, I know. Really, yep. whether you have smart goals or it's another form, it doesn't matter as long as it's working for you. But yep. smart goals really break them down and really get yeah. no. And so, yes, I have the very same thing, which is, um, yep. yeah. So, if you haven't tried it, you can just try it to see what happens. Just start something small. Yeah, exactly. Which is why we've, um, as I said to everyone, uh, if you are watching this, please jump on to referrals over breakfast, the blog, and go to goals for 2020 that URL that is on the screen and uh, download the uh, smart goals that we've put forward. Uh, it's a great place to start to take on what Anna's talking about. But anyway, back to uh, step, uh, what are we, up to three, up to four now. What's what's step four? When you do okay. body that, you start to yep. feel that excitement, you start to feel, because at the end of the day, it's the feelings that people tend to focus on, tend to mm. feelings. So if you get that feeling, you're, you're feeling empowered, you want to take an action. Yep. So those yep. Start okay. Now, before we move on, remembering your goals. Um, yep. this is someone that was told to me also a while ago by one of my mentors. If you have if your goals too small, it's not very exciting. Mm -hmm. If your goal is really out of reach, it's so out of reach that you think it's impossible, you're not even going to try. So you've got to make it um, a, li a little bit out of reach so it's exciting. In the pursuit yeah. of it. Okay? Right. So ensure that you do that. And of course, these things that we've said, that I've just said, you can't just visualize once and think that's going to happen. You can't just write it and put it aside. It's got to be an ongoing process. Yeah? Right. And so on. Okay. Yep. Now, step three um, is, and we all know, we all know that we have, need to have a plan with um, specific action. Okay. Yep. And most people are aware of this. And so break it down with weekly, you know, monthly, yearly, monthly, and so on. Weekly. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to yep. spend a lot of time on that, but that's something that obviously must be a part of it. Yeah. Well, actually, on the, um, the the document or the article I wrote, it actually talks about those steps and it actually talks about how to put a plan in action. So um, we'll leave it to the document to do that part. Um, it says you can go from 12 to quarterly, have your 90 days. You know, yep. it's really busy. But one thing that I wish I'll go into afterwards, you know, mm. um, but don't make it too hard. Keep it simple. Yeah, that's right. Yep. yep. Start small. So um, now you've, you've, you've made a plan. I'm guessing the next thing is to somehow commit to it, I'm assuming. You've gone through, you've got your goals, you've got a vision because that's what's going to keep you going. You, you're reading them daily, you have your plan. And of course, what everyone's waiting for is the habits. Mm. So creating habits. Uh, and behaviours of success. Now, what are habits? So habits are things that we do all the time. They are actually automatic. If you think about, um, you know, you get up in the morning, you brush your teeth. Everyone's got a different schedule, start their morning differently, but we all brush our teeth, have a shower. What order? I don't know. Yep. Some people exercise, some people meditate, whatever it is. You, yep. you just, when you've done it often enough, your brain remembers and it just your body just acts. It just gets into action. Now, the thing with our habits, um, they are routine and we perform them, and our brain just remembers them because we've strengthened those neural pathways. Now, yep. when you have a goal, you've got to think, okay, um, are these habits and behaviours helping mm. me, serving me? Right. To my so the brain is very, um, uh, I'll say, adaptable. Yep. So we, you've heard the word neuroplasticity, very adaptable. So we can yep. change our, our habits and behaviours. But mm. because our habits are so ingrained, because we've done them so many over and over, they've been strengthened, we've done it for so long that that's the first thing. We have habits every day. We go into automatic every day. So many things. Mm -hmm. You can change it. Right, okay. Okay, and that is the, the probably what people get stuck on. Because yep. It's Yep, in the old habits. Uh, I'm sure many people who listen to this will know what you're talking about there. But uh, yeah. so I guess if, if you've 
going back into old habits, is there techniques for understanding that you're doing that or breaking that habit? Is there okay. places we can go there? Or Okay, so what I was going to take you through now is really is about okay, becoming aware of your habits and that mm -hmm. becoming aware of what you do every day. So when you have a goal, it's easy to work towards and start to create change. So mm -hmm. um, I think it's about asking yourself the question, you know, looking at, I'll, I'll get to those questions. So what you mm -hmm. just asked is, is there a way of changing the habits? Was that the question? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. 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 yeah? Yes. Okay. So I think what you initially have to do is, um, let's just take a step back. So initially, because you've got your goal and you're excited and it's all new, you're motivated, yeah? Yeah, so yeah exactly. You're going, yeah, run, okay. So if you think about, uh, well, talk about me, <laughs> let's say mm -hmm. exercise, all right? Um, you know, I have done some runs and I do those things and I actually do a little bit every morning. Um, when I first started, it was exciting. And then, of course, the aches and pains started because I'm not used to it. And then you go, oh, do I really have to do this today? So hmm. you've got to put yep. like, yeah? Because yep. motivation is not always there. People think just because you exercise every day, you're motivated yep. or not. So mm. I have my uh, shoes ready, my everything ready in the morning, and I have my alarm clock goes off. I mean, I always, as you know, wake up with my alarm clock, but it's there just in case. Um, yep. that, and I just get up, too weary, my hair's in a mess, get dressed, and off I go. Mm. So yep. I don't have to think about it. The mm -hmm. more you do that, the more you start to just become a habit. Yep. And it's a habit yep. that's going to serve you. Yeah, you're kind of stopping the little voice stopping you. Yeah, because the voice is like, I'll tell you, that voice is there all the time. You know? Yep. Um, so when you don't feel like it, when I know for myself, when I don't feel like it, if I change my routine, I feel something's missing, something's gone astray. I don't quite feel myself. Um, yep. But I, you know, I slot it in somewhere because there are some mornings that things have to change. So I will do five minutes or ten minutes. I'm not going to do 20 half an hour or yep. you, know, you just vary, you, you adapt. So you've got to be adaptable. But yep. a routine that serves you so it becomes a habit is just yep. building a neural pathway. Yeah? Right. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, did you have a question? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, because we're talking about the, the, we're up to the habit part, but. Um, yep. I guess it's interesting to know how to create those habits that, uh, like, I think what you said earlier about having someone who you can be accountable to, um, so having that person touch base with you and say to them, look, could you shoot me an email every week um, to say how you're going with it? Or I guess what I was, I'm going to be doing is when we come into the meetings is saying, hi, everyone, how are you going with those goals? Would anyone like to share? And we take a moment to, to talk about it if that, that does happen. Um, so I'm hoping that's going to help people achieve their goals. And those uh, introverts in the room that don't want to get up and talk about it, um, they can at least in the back of their mind know that it's being talked about and that may trigger them to go home and yeah. and talk about it. But uh, you don't have from to in public, you can do it in pairs. That's do, right. You can break it down differently so that everyone's catered for. Those who like to speak, say it out loud to everyone in the yep. room, just, just their little group, which is just as um, effective as well. So yeah, works. exactly. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so um, where was I going to go to? Let me just remember. Okay, so um, checking into habits. So if we're on track with your goals, you want to have habits that support you, habits that help yeah. you achieve your goals, whether it's personal or whether it's business. And a lot of people on here are to business, but I'm sure they can yeah. take this through to their personal business. So, okay, what I would suggest is to start by asking some questions. So I'm going to just read some of the questions I listed. What habit, get a, stop and think, when you've read your goal, what habit will support you to achieve your goal? So what habit will support me to achieve my goal? That's the first one I would think about. So just do a mm -hmm. brainstorm. Just allow what comes. That's what I would do. Okay? Yep. And then what positive habits do you have already? Because I'm sure okay. you, know, you have already. Of course, the one yep. that we want to shift is what negative habits are holding you back. Okay? Yeah. So, for example, if you are thinking, well, you know, I want to do a bit more learning, I'm going to do a bit more reading, 
and mm -hmm. decide what time of day it works for you. You might decide at night after dinner, I'm going to spend 15 minutes reading every single night and take that to whatever I'm doing that's going to, I'm going to grow through that. And yet you have a habit of watching TV, you know, you mm -hmm. get distracted easily. There's things that go on with your family. It's like, yep. okay, and so you start on that path and you go, you sit down, you just happen to go, oh, no, it'll be all right tonight. I'll just sit down, I'll just watch some TV. Um, and then another night, the next night comes out, oh, no, but it's still on Tuesday. You know, it doesn't mm. matter. Well, you can already say, hey, you're off track. So yep, that's right. Up for um, success. Yep. So you might get your book, put it in a, you know, a nice chair, you know, um, might be in your room away from distraction. And yep. you tell the family if you've got a family or if you live with someone. Or, you know, if you usually do something different, to say from this time to this time, this is what I'm doing. Yep. And then after that or before that, we can spend time together. We can, you know, get our drama from the drama <laughs> box before or after. Yep. Some time, whatever that may be. Okay? Yep. So um, we've all got things that we need, we, we know will help us. And we have yep. habits that we could change. We have strengths and we have those that we go, okay, well, something needs to shift. So that's yep. um, what new habits are going to create, are you going to create this intention to live okay. with intention? I think that's a really important one because you need to be intentional in everything you do. So the yep. habits um, are going to support all of you. Okay. Right. So you're having intent. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It does, yeah, yeah. So keep going. I'm, I'm, I'm enthralled. I'm looking forward to seeing where we end up. So take me there. Right. Well, you know, this could go down many paths. I've just chosen one of them, pretty much. Yep. Okay. So as we know, a lot of habits, um, we have habits every day. So we need to take control of them so that we know we're headed in the in the direction we want to go. So whether mm -hmm. it be relationships, business, whatever. Okay. And I've said write down, and write it down and commit to that plan. So really, if we we need to be persistent. Mm -hmm. consistent, consistent and persistent. Now okay. Yeah. We tend to fall down. Yeah. So we need to go back and review our habits and our plan. Now, maybe we set goals that are far too out of reach. Go back and read Or maybe mm -hmm. you want uh, your purpose. There isn't a reason. Go back and check your vision. So you've got to go back to okay, yep. come back to habits overlay everything. Okay. Now, I'm yeah. Gonna, I have a little reference here to Stephen Covey. I thought that would be, it, there's so many people that I admire, but this is one of them. Yeah. He says there are three overlapping layers in terms of mm -hmm. habits. So there's knowledge, desire, and skills. So we need yep. to consider those. So what and why and so on. So depending on mm -hmm. where you're at and what you're after. But habits yep. um, of effectiveness, he says, can be learned. Yeah, okay. You know how we're saying change it or break the chain and learn new ones? Yep. Because once we do it over and over again, our brain starts working, the neural pathways start connecting. The more we do it, it becomes a habit. We Pretty much like a muscle, going to the gym, many of those things. So Yeah. yeah. Um, and habits of ineffectiveness can be unlearned. So our negative ones, they're just a different way of saying it. Okay. Um, the thing to remember, and there's a quote here that I've taken from someone, we always have time for the things we put first. So we need to ensure that our habit, whatever we, our goal is, you mm -hmm. know, we focus on the important things first. And that is, we need to think, what's the habit we need to have to be able to do that? Right. Okay? Yep. All right. Um, do you have any questions about that? It's all, all, all okay? No, no, no. I'm just conscious of your time because we did talk about right. you well, getting... I've had a few more through them, I won't say everything. Yep. So successful yep. people, we, we always think of habits of successful people, and I've gone through a whole lot, and so there are so many things successful people do, all right? But what they do that covers everything is that they do things that they can win at life, okay? So one yep. day at a time. So whatever they do, they set themselves up for success. So regardless of what habits you do, you need to have your morning ritual, mm -hmm. and you need to have your evening. So regardless of what you put in there, but if I just throw out a few things, um, some of the things without being really specific, I'll go into the overarching things. Some of the things yep. that you might want to consider, but you can come up with your own. Yep. Right? So be proactive, beginning with the end, those sort of things. What is important? What is first, which I've mentioned before? Um, 
Mm -hmm. My top one I wrote, and then I'll go through successful people. I wrote down asking some good questions first, asking yourself some good questions, or asking but, people who know questions to help you so that you can create those good habits. But uh, to maybe explain that a little bit further, because people can ask questions, but how do you know the difference between a good question and a bad question? What's important to you? What are you trying to achieve? So mm -hmm. come from that mind. Um, do you have someone that you admire that's doing what you do, you would like to do? You know, even if it's a mentor, even if it's someone you admire that you don't have access to, you can go and search them. You go read about them. What is it that they do? Okay. And then you may be still stuck. So then you might go to a mentor, someone that you can physically talk to or talk online, whatever, and start asking questions about that. And right. And that's the questions that I mentioned. Um, so you want some positive ones and you think this is what this is what I think is a good one, is a positive mm -hmm. one that takes us closer to my goal, but it's not working. Go talk yep. about it, ask someone. So go yep. and pick up. That's why I say ask. ask. Yeah. No, I, I like that. So pick someone that you uh, pick someone you admire, admire and then you and then you can go, what would they do? What would they do? And, and then yeah. And then hopefully what that does is you do get the response because you can some most times you because you aspire to be someone. Aspire, yeah, and aspire is yeah. great, but it mm. doesn't stop there. You need to actually action. So habits, once you start, they're not always comfortable. So we've mm. got to remember this. If everything was so comfortable, people would be doing it all the time. That's right. Yeah. Successful people step out of their comfort zone, they have the fear and they go with it anyway and they prioritize what's important to them right yep they also look after themselves physically and mentally they have the habit of looking after that because that's what's going to keep them going right yep it's great All right. so um a few things i listed was yes so ask a good question prioritize and focus what's your focus prioritize what's really important um but how are you going to do that? How can you set up your day so that that actually happens? Yeah. Away from distraction. You know, mm -hmm. if it's yeah. A relationship. I'll go to relationship. If it's your relationship, well, yep. you know, if you're busy in your business all the time and you go, well, I just have to do this, have to do this. Well, it's not going to work. No. So how are you going to make that a priority within everything, which I'll go into in a minute. Um, yeah. What did I write? Oh, clear distraction. And really important to continue to work on yourself there's some ideas okay um what some of the most important things they're just some basic ones as well uh, they're also important successful people have a schedule they schedule everything so you can work with right. your habits your habits of you know being um focused driven whatever they may be whatever you think is going to work for you but then schedule everything so that when we I spoke about relationships, lock it in, lock it in, lock in time with your children, for instance, you know, like you, yep. you really want to have time with your wife, time with your children, but of course you've got a business to run and you've also got yourself. Okay. Yep. So no, I've gotten to the habit of doing those things. So, yep. Everything. And something's going to come along and, and distract you. And we've all got distractions. So, yes. Um, so depending on your environment, because environment does can be a huge distractor. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make sure our environment is set up for success as well. Okay. Yep. So what do you do that is not working? What do you do that is working? What habit can you implement that will help you take the next step? So is it that you might need a specific area? Is it that you need to allocate time to this? Is it that you know it's a different time of day? Is it that you need to do more learning? I don't know. Mm. Um, yeah, I yeah. So those are just a few things. Okay. No, no, it's fine. That's no, great. Yeah. So, um, but we are getting on with time, so I'd like to you know find a way we can wrap this up. So, yes, we can. Yeah, I'm, I'm more conscious of your time. Yeah, as you said, you had to had to hit somewhere. So. Oh gosh, I didn't even notice the time. I, I see what yeah. you mean. I had to yep. check. Okay, I'll just keep going because I would like to finish to give you a little bit more. Yep. So some of the things people do, okay, is to get set themselves up for life when I talk about successful people. Apart from getting enough sleep because all of us have a different sleep requirement, okay, yep. working out times, getting rid of distractions, um, waking up earlier if that's what's going to help you. Even if yep. you're not 
don't consider yourself a morning person, you know. Um, it doesn't matter. Exercise, move, what have I written? You don't have to do all of these things. They're just some ideas, okay? Um, journal, because that boosts your creativity and releases some of the stress. Right, yep. Um, and, of course, have gratitude for where you're at. Right. But really start focusing on one thing. Change one habit. What is the most important one for you right now? Um, because if you keep it simple and you don't overwhelm yourself with blocks, you can start taking those steps to change the habit. So right. So yep. it's your number one priority. You know, if it's business, if you're like in one area of life, and mm -hmm. schedule it in, what can you do, and who you need to be to achieve that. Yep. So all these things are great, but people still come unstuck. And this is what yep. I wanted to mention as well. It's um, our beliefs, our mindset, that talk that we mentioned earlier at the beginning. Yep. So regardless of good intentions, regardless of what you put in place, how is it that a lot of people still don't achieve their goals? You know, there's the habits, there's this, there's so many things. It really is, I think we've talked about this in the past as well, um, where we all have different experiences, our yep. activating system, you know, takes things on, brings them inside and deletes, distorts and generalizes. And then, of course, we come up with beliefs and rules and a whole lot of things. Mm. And even though on one hand we might say, oh, no, no, I believe this, this, and this, we still stop in our tracks and it doesn't change. Yeah. So it's those beliefs. What is underlying? What do we need to change? What do you value? Is this something mm -hmm. that you truly value? So we need to go and clear limiting beliefs and look into our values and how meaningful is it to you? Right, so okay. Mindset is huge, I don't know. No, no, it's, I agree with you, yeah. So um, for all those people that came onto this uh, session expecting it was just about a simple one, two, three thing, a little bit more to it. <laughs> I just thought it's best to give you a bit more. If you think I wrote, uh, you've heard of Dr. Cara Duet, fixed yep. mindset and growth mindset. And that stops people, even though you think you've passed over to the growth mindset. Yeah. Within there, there's rules, and it yep. might be rules that you're not even really aware of, and you don't know why you, you're like that. Or why yeah. You're like that. It's not a right or wrong. It's really what do you want, and how can we achieve? How can we achieve it? There's yep. no right or wrong here. Right. Yep. And the the more you want to achieve, the more you need to work on your mindset. Um, right. And on growth, finding a way to doing that. So yep. clear the clutter, as I always say, those beliefs and, and uh, gain some uh, that they're going to help you grow and achieve what you want. I'm going to stop. Right. No, no, that's fantastic. Yeah. So clearly, um, you know, when people are creating habits, what you've sort of identified for me that there's actually seven steps to that uh, creating of habits, which we've covered in this session. So those people that have just joined on. Um, they'll, they'll hear more about that when they watch it back. But uh, knowing, I guess, when I recap this, it's like why we do it is the first reason, why we're setting goals and understanding that is important. And that was a step that we uh, didn't cover too much in this session. But then you said about number one is really writing those um, things down. And then obviously two is sharing it with people um, or somebody um, so that you've at least put it out there. And then it's a way to... You know, feel accountable for what you've put out there. Um, I guess number three was that you said sort of read them aloud. So now that you've written them down, read them out loud. Yeah. And then from that, it's then uh, step four was how to plan to achieve those goals. I think I didn't do a lot of that, but people have a lot of information about that, I think. Nicole. Yeah, exactly. No, that's fine. That's fine. And then obviously number five was committing to that plan. And then it was number six, which is what we everyone came here for, which is how to create habits. And you went through some amazing things around that. And I think most importantly, what people need to understand from what I understood is that step six leads to step seven is, which is mindset. So if you don't have the right mindset, really the, the previous things are never going to come together because you've got to be in the right mindset to actually go out and follow the plan, follow the steps and achieve what you're trying to go out and do. Uh, if I summarise that correctly? Yeah. And I think um, it's really important to know that it's not purely going to create these habits. What comes yeah. before? What comes? How can you? You know, it's all about goals, but creating the habits to achieve your goals. But there's things before and there's things after, and you can 
try and do those habits, but you've got to have all those other things in place as well. The mindset. Mindset covers everything and the habits you can have the best of intentions, but if you're not following through, you've got to go, well, why not? You know, Fantastic. You want to bring into your conscious awareness, which yep. you do, so then you've got to put the steps in place to right. and do it over and over again so it becomes automatic. Yes, no, fantastic. Well, look, um, and I think we might uh, finish it up there. But before before we go, um, where can people find you? Where do where do we find more about Anna Petrakra? Uh, okay, so uh, hello at aligningminds.com.au. Um, mm-hmm. and you can come, so you can send me an email if you have any questions or you want to connect, or yep. go on my website aligningminds.com.au. Yep. Or just shoot me, yeah, shoot me an email. Fantastic. All right. Well, go to Rob. Yeah, exactly. Come down and visit visit Anna in person. Uh, she'll sign sign autographs there. So, um, yeah. No, look, thanks again for your time. I do appreciate it. Um, and I look forward to seeing uh, the, the people that have watched this, if they can give us feedback and let Anna know, know you know, has, have these tips been helpful? Uh, and we're more, happy, more than happy to revisit this uh, as we go throughout the year to see how people are travelling. Um, so, again, thanks for your time, Anna, and I look forward to um, seeing you soon. No worries. Take care. See ya.